if it's going to do it again. He's been fighting with the hood coming open. <laughs> So, it is June 17th, uh, just a one day race, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but it was advertised there's uh, supposed to be a good payout uh, tonight. Uh, I believe, I could be mistaken, but I believe it was a thousand dollars either for the IMCA stocks or the IMCA mods. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's for one of them. So it is actually uh, nice temperature wise. It's in the upper 70s, uh, low 80s. There's, if you can't tell, a noticeable breeze. But it uh, actually makes it feel pretty nice. You can see him watering the pits down. Keeps the dust down a little bit. <laughs> some of the kids out trying to get sprayed with some of the water so back here on the back side of one and two you can see we've got a few cars back here got a new guy new car I wonder if he's going to be running the stocks or the IMCA's I'm going to guess the IMCA's that one actually runs both classes, I believe, both the IMCA stocks and the street stocks. So. Uh, Are you all the cows? Oh, I do a pit walk for the YouTube channel that I do. What's it called? It's V54 Entertainment. You can just look up Diamond Mountain Speedway. Okay. And you'll find a whole bunch. Okay? <laughs> So they, I don't think they've done tech yet. I don't know if they're going to do a tech this race, but C105, I think that's Addison Humphrey, I think. there. I think they're running both uh, one car's running the street and I think the other one's running ICA I believe. So kind of neat seeing drivers doing double duty doing multiple classes. It's like Jeff out there. Awesome work prepping the track. Crazy Kate. Uh, Shares Posse out here at the Grub. See, that's what I say family sport, all ages. Which class that one's gonna be in? Probably street stock, man. It'd be neat if it shows up in the IMCAs. Triple X. There was a good movie with Vin Diesel. I think it's PG 13 rated. <laughs> that was called Triple X. It was only a Corvette. <laughs> if you know the movie, you know the same. Sorry, I'm a Mopar guy. Anyways. Uh, looks like uh, Long Acres back out here in his IMCA. Father son team. Galen over here. Keeping his car cool in the shade. It's definitely sunny enough for that. And it is about five o'clock, almost five. 
and they're gonna be, they're uh, supposed to be starting about six today so not too bad it's go go juice Kenamore crew. Hopefully you guys are still able to hear okay through the wind. Because it's it might sound like it's a lot, but it's actually a very pleasant breeze right now. It'll probably be a little cool come later in the evening, but we'll see. Another one pulling in. Foreman, it's like Robles. Another couple over here. It's not too bad. It is only one night. So I think it's uh, more than the last one night race that we had. So I don't think that's too bad, really. I know, sorry about my hair, I'm flying away. <laughs> that's how I lose weight, I fly. Anyways. Come back and uh, don't know if you could hear that. They just called for the pit, the driver's meeting. So there they go. So just called them for tech and all that. So here we are now on backside of three and four. Got to give a shout out to the track crew. It helps Jeff and all them get this track into shape and helps to bring you this awesome race you guys see every race day. I actually did some uh, RC videos back here on the back of turn three and four. I ran a few of my RC cars. My only issue is I wound up doing it and recording it with a 4K camera and my computer can't handle it. So I'm trying to figure out a way how I can actually get it edited together and uploaded so you guys can check out some of that because I was doing some jumps and jumping off the top of the turn and stuff here so yeah if you guys do uh, radio control cars mainly like the hobby grade comment down below because I, I want to try to get together and get a group of people together to do a intermission show there in the infield for the crowd because I can bring a, a few cars for, to, for myself and for a couple people to drive, but I need to get a few more people. So if you, guys, if, any, if you guys know anybody that's in the radio control hobby, then comment or try to tag them down below, because I'd love to get some more car stuff in here for you guys. Even if they are little cars, well, bigger than that, but even if they are little cars, they're still fun. And hey, it's a great way to get the kids involved too. Uh, a little safer than the big ones. Until they get used to it like Grayson does. So, uh, mud truck racing. I don't know how long that hood's gonna stay down. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good day. Stay tuned for some hot laughs. Till later, keep the shiny side up. See ya.